Ever since I purchased the two different foundations that The Ordinary sells last summer, I've been recommending them nonstop on my channel. And for good reason, they are incredible formulas. They're both under $7 and they're truly two of my favorite foundations in my whole collection. But almost every time I use one or the other on camera, I get questions from you all asking what the difference is between the two. So The Ordinary sells a serum foundation and a coverage foundation. They have identical shade ranges. They're only 20 cents different in price. One is 670, one 690, so honestly negligible. They come with the same amount of product and there aren't wonderful descriptions of the products online. So it does make it hard to decide which one would be best for you. So to try to help out with that decision-making process, today I am going to apply the serum foundation on this side of my face and the coverage foundation on this side of my face. I'm gonna show you what they look like on their own in my studio lights and natural lights. Then I'm gonna go off camera, do my bronzer, blush, highlight, eyeshadow, etc. And then again, I'll show you what it looks like once you've applied products on top, both in my studio lights and in natural lights as well. Before I actually get into applying either of these to my face though, just wanna run through uh, kind of what I see as the biggest difference. So as I already mentioned, in terms of price, quantity of product, shade range, all of that, they are the same. In terms of formula, they are both a very natural finish. Neither of them are like dewy, glowy, nor are they completely matte. They really are just like a natural skin finish. That is my personal preference, so I love that. But I know that everybody has different opinions on how they would like their makeup to wear. And I just wanna let you know that the serum foundation is not dewy, the coverage foundation is not matte. They are both really that middle ground, natural satin skin-like finish. And that means really, truly, the only difference between these two products comes in terms of coverage level. The serum foundation is marketed as a light coverage foundation. However, in my experience, and you'll see this on camera, it really is light leaning medium. It's not going to be that like super dewy sheer wash of color that you see a lot in recent releases from brands with serum foundations, but I still wouldn't call it a full medium coverage. I would say it's definitely still light coverage, but on like the higher end of the light coverage spectrum. In contrast, the coverage foundation is marketed as full coverage. And I would say it leans a little more towards medium coverage than full, full coverage. It certainly is the most full coverage option in my collection right now, but that's really just a matter of personal preference. However, this does not compare to a lot of the products on the market that are true full coverage, like they will mask out your skin entirely. I would still call this somewhere on the full coverage line, but down towards the lower end of full coverage. So honestly, both of these are migrating somewhere near medium coverage. It's just a matter of the serum foundation being much, much, much lighter coverage than the full coverage. Now I can tell you that personally, my favorite is the serum foundation. I love the coverage level on this. I've never actually had another product that's in this sort of a range. Like it's billed as light coverage and so it is very fluid, very runny, very liquidy, very serum-like but it does give me a decent amount of coverage. And so to me, that product is a clear, clear winner. You'll see when they go on my face though, that um, there is not going to be the biggest difference that you might imagine, given the fact that they're marketing one as light and one as full coverage. So all of that rambling aside, let's go ahead and put these on my face. I'm going to do the serum foundation on this side of my face and I'm gonna do it first. I'm applying both of these with the same brush today. It's my favorite foundation brush, my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush here. So I will be wiping it off very, very thoroughly in between to avoid cross-contamination here. After the serum side is done, I will go ahead and apply the coverage foundation on this side and we'll look at them both in my studio lights and natural lights. I'm gonna put both of them on the back of my hand so you can see the texture quickly. So over here is the serum foundation and over here is the coverage foundation. You can see the serum is much, much runnier. However, the coverage foundation is still relatively liquidy. So just something to keep in mind. That's actually an awesome formula to have in something with higher coverage because it spreads across your face super, super evenly and seamlessly and it gives you that really good skin finish. All right, serum foundation over here. All 
All right, so it looks a little dewy, glowy right now, but it will dry down just a bit. It has kind of its own dry down. I typically don't actually powder either of these products and I have normal leaning dry skin. So it does look a little dewy now, but you'll see it'll settle down as I wear it. So let's go ahead and switch over to the coverage side now. Okay, and there is the coverage side all blended out. So you can see the serum side has dried down quite a bit now. It always goes on just a little dewier and then it does it does dry down. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip here of what this looks like in natural lighting, just so you can see the difference before I put any other makeup on top here. And again, like I said, you might be surprised that they really do look pretty, pretty similar on the skin considering one is billed as light coverage and one is billed as full coverage. I am going to do the rest of my makeup off camera, so eyes, cheeks, lips, and then I will be back in both studio lights and natural lights so that you can see how each of these look once they have products on top. All right, I am back with a full face of makeup done on top of each of these foundations. Now that I have the rest of my makeup done, I hope you can see that the difference in coverage level is not as pronounced as maybe you would think. So over here, the side with the serum foundation, you can still see through a little bit more like down on my jaw here where there isn't any other product. Maybe on my forehead a bit, it looks like there's less coverage. And here's the coverage side where truly I feel like you can tell it's, you know, blanked out mostly and then the makeup's on top. I'll go ahead and insert that clip here of the natural light so that you can really see any differences in kind of like day-to-day -day life rather than in front of my studio lights. And hopefully it's clear to you that although these are different coverage levels, they both perform extremely well. And kind of the more layers of other makeup you put on top, the less of a difference you can truly tell between these two foundations. Again, all of that being said, I think I've made it clear that my personal preference is the serum foundation. That is literally, truly just a personal preference. Like, don't let that sway your opinion of which you think is correct for you. If you want that little boost of coverage, go for the coverage foundation. It is stunning. They are both absolutely beautiful, beautiful products. I hope this little side-by-side -side comparison was helpful for you today. If you own either of these or if you're checking them out and you have questions, leave me comments down below. I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you so, so much for watching today and I will see you next time.